58. The cursing is yours. A. Political interviews. Interview is by the fact that you get repeated a sworn that you would not raise taxes. You seem to have broken the promise and raised five different taxes. Can you offer an explanation for why this happened? Haven't you betrayed the trust of the voters? Pollution. I reject that term completely. We have kept our manifesto promise and not raised the basic rate of income tax at all. Interview. Yes, but you were raised in direct taxes instead. So, in effect, you have gone back on your promise of no tax increase. Have you not? Pollution. No. We made a commitment with regard to the basic rate of income tax. And I am happy to reaffirm that commitment now. The basic rate will remain unchanged. These volitions, they can never give a straight answer. They are great at adopting the question. B. Decreasing communication. Tutor. Right. I want to put the following question to you. Do you think the channels of communication between politicians and people are adequate? The students are silent. Tutor. Well, let me frame the question different. Do politicians genuinely communicate directly with the public? Don't. What do you think? Joe, not really. It is stop by on TV, isn't it? They hardly meet ordinary people face to face. They don't mind fielding questions from journalists. They are used to that. But that's not the same as confronting the easy directly with real people. Tutor. Well, that's a fair comment. But what about politicians who have both sign rights blocks? Are these better ways of establishing communication with people? Young people don't watch TV, they are on the graph all the time. Paul With all due respect, I think you are missing the point. If you don't mind me saying so, the politicians can still keep their distance. They don't have to face a grilling from journalists or anyone if they just have a web page or a blog. In some ways, it works on media interviews. Tutor. Fine, I take the point. But no pollution can meet everyone face to face, so communicating with as many people as possible using technology could be seen more genuinely democratic, couldn't it? Imagine. Yes, but they become less accountable if there is a scandal. They just is your denier and um, when did you last hear a politician give a full apology for getting things wrong? They enter into a contract with the people and if they breach that contract, they should be directly accountable and not just at election time. Tutor, right, okay then. Get into groups and decrease ways in which politicians can be made more directly accountable. Okay, about 10 minutes.